www.news.motherfucking.com. I think we just got cut out, but I am live right now. We are live right now. I'm about to be joined by my man who was just joining me in Trash Talking Treasures. So let me go ahead and check some shit out, and we'll see who pops up in. We got some poppage going on already. I see the TTT Second Helping logo. Oh, there it now is. Now I see my man Paul. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? What's up, man? Man, that was a blast. I love those guys. That was a good guys. show, dude. Those guys are awesome. There he is. Somebody who was I didn't, I didn't see an alien. Yeah, oh, he's oh. back. Oh no, we got the blue screen of death again. What the hell is going on? Oh, oh, they, oh. We got stuff in here too. <laughs> oh, more, that's, more what beer. is going need, on, guys? We need a beer run. Hold on. Yeah, you need a I'm beer run. Like Seth's oh. taking over. Yeah, What's up, buddy? Beers. I'm excited to talk what to Seth, that? man. What the fuck's going on, man? Oh, man. I've been running beers back and forth to Neil. I think Fetch Not just much. joined us, too. He's trying to come back on. There's Fetch. Yes? No, we got his logo, but you know how that works around here. I see it. Fetch looks like Max Headroom on here. Hey, <laughs> you don't know if I can hear you or not. Yo, this is when we say fuck, shit-ass bitch. I don't give a cunt right here. <laughs> wow. Well, I can't. I just can't do it. I can't do it. You, you better not do that. You might get arrested. I, um... No, I we got, got Seth. I'm going to plug in. What are you going to plug? Seth! You're plugging Seth? I got I got I need power. Must have power. <laughs> plug What's yourself! Okay, got it. All right, so real quick, I mean, we're, we're, we're off the radar right now, but still we're, our viewers are actually picking up as we speak. But Seth, how, how are things behind the scenes? I mean, what is your day-to-day -day duties? Like, what do you do on a, a daily basis? What do we do on a daily basis? What do you do on a daily basis? I mean, like, you yeah. keep shit... You keep shit I, moving, I imagine, right? Oh, yeah. I surf all the internet, find the sales, send Neil out to go find the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and the porn! <laughs> no, not the porn sites. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I see Fetch laughing. I see Paul laughing. What the what the hell's going on, Fetch? You smoking fucking well, a blunt here. over there? What are you doing? This is not a blunt. I'm sitting here <laughs> thinking about American Pickers. I'm like, he's the girl from, from American Pickers, and I'm trying to remember her name. And how bad is it that I can't remember her name? I met her. Danielle. That's it. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. I will never get tweeted by Mike Wolf if I do that. You're fucked, man. You fucked that's your shit. Yeah, that's it. It's all over now. Wait till it hits the forums. Oh, jeez. Looks like we got Neil back. Ooh. Oh, Seth. Seth dipped. Neil's in. What happened to Seth? Somebody's drunk. Fetch is smoking a blunt. I'm not. <laughs> I can't say that kind of stuff. I'll have the... Like, all right, well, uh, we got one and a half like, American Spring. These, these were the papers that we were following when we were live, which was fun, but right now we're just going to throw that shit out because it doesn't fucking matter. Fetch, what the fuck would you like to ask Neil? Because this is yeah. the important shit that people really want to know right here. I mean, my thing is 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 this country stuff. Uh, you know, I mean, I live fairly close and grew up in a rural, in a rural. Oh. And what's that feedback? Yeah. But anyway, you know, I, I live in a rural community, and I don't see a lot of the, the 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 Amish. You know, like looking at Craigslist to try to find pickers to come out and pick their barns and stuff. And so I'm really curious to say, I mean, you said mostly word of mouth for you guys, huh? Uh, 
Are we there? I think it's delayed. Dude, I am tr trying to fix this shit. I'm going to have to fucking hire your Amish man. Man, this is <laughs> this is the post show, man. It doesn't fucking matter at this point. <laughs> we do got some decent amount of viewers, actually, though, but still. Okay. Maybe it's the headphones. Are you missing your headphones? You know what? I don't have headphones. What the fuck, Fetcher? <laughs> Brent, how many viewers did we have during the episode? I would. You can tell Fetcher. You can tell Fetcher lives in the rural community with his fucking pine boards on his wall. Check out. <laughs> hey, that was a buying point with the house, man. I'm like, look at that wall. Oh, I gotta have that. Can you hear uh, me? Can you hear me now? I can hear everybody, man. I, I was about to laugh my ass off about right. something, but I don't remember what it was at this point. <laughs> What the fuck were you asking, Fetcher? How do you get in touch with all these Mennonites? Uh-oh. Are you there? Yeah. We're here. He's here. Fetcher, this did you lock your wife down in the basement? I don't have a basement. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, is there? Can somebody not hear somebody right now? I, I, I can hear, hear, hear all me. you guys right now. I'm I looking at everybody. my camera. Uh, I, I, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, until we get our issues solved, huh? people are gonna watch this shit, Betcher, motherfucker. Click my I'm... ads, bitches. All right, Betcher, what the fuck did you find this weekend? How about that? This weekend was huge. Bitches. What did I find? <laughs> Click my ads, bitches. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, got, uh, I got a nice tackle box, which is a first for me. Um, went to a yard sale, and a woman had a very small tackle box with just a few miscellaneous lures and whatnot. And she had an $80 tag on it. And I looked through it, and I looked through it. <laughs> and I looked at her, and I said, so where did we get 80 <laughs> And she said, and she said, well, um, and she said, make me an offer. And I said, 20 Did you? And offer she anything? told me, I don't. I don't offer that anymore. <laughs> I, I I don't get much for it. <laughs> kind of throwing me off. Listen, Sorry, man. Anyway, so I, I try. It's the beer speaking. I, th I threw I threw twenty at her, and she said no. That she had an offer for forty five, and so that was the end of that. That I didn't buy that tackle box, and I I went. You guys I, I got a. Um, what do you say, Megan? Oh, yeah, you have big time. Feedback. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fetch your video looks like Fetch's video looks like the old Max Headroom commercials for me. For me, it doesn't look too bad. I actually heard him fine. I'll tell Fetcher's video. He sounds like the. He sounds like the guy from Micro. <laughs> I. The the lures in the b -b -b box. Fetcher's trying, man. He's trying He's, here. His video is frozen. I, you know, oh, I missed man. the punch. All right. Yeah, oh, Fetcher's Fetcher gone. Dude. All right. Can can we hear each other good now? I can hear you fine. Yeah. Yeah, Paul, I can, Paul, I can hear, you. hear you. So we're good. You know, I got a kind of a dumb question. Would you guys, what, if you were approached to do a reality show, would you guys do it? Oh, if I was approached to do a reality show, I heard it. Is that it? Fetcher's <laughs> back. Hear me now? I can, I can hear, hear you, man. I can hear. I'm just trying to like, see if I was causing the lag. But uh, definitely, I would. if I did it, I would definitely want it to be true. Didn't I wouldn't want it to be fake. 
Yeah. Yes. Yes. Frank, I'm spending thirty dollars on a course sign that I'm going to sell a hundred. Going to actually sell for about eight hundred. I actually haven't talked about it much, but I was actually approached about some different TV stuff in the past, and two of them I turned down. I mean, you really got to just go for the project that you know fits. You know what I mean? I mean, it's, it, money's money's fucking great, but you got to like you know uh -oh. go with what. Now we lost pickers, and Fetch is dead. I'm Maybe. here. Oh, Fetch is there. I'm here. I don't know hey, about you guys, the... but waiting to tell about my tackle box. <laughs> I, I fucking want to know about that tackle box. Nobody gives a shit. Mozilla Firefox don't give a crap. Let me bring up the comments to see if we have any yet. And meanwhile, you talk about your fucking tackle box, bitch. All right, so anyway, so I didn't get this $20 tax because she wanted 45 And uh, I ended up just driving, you know, cruising around, picking up a couple of things. And I'm on my way home, and there's a yard sale within my own neighborhood. So I went up. Looking through, bought a couple of uh, cake pans, and then I see this big metal box. It was huge. It was chock full. There's three fishing reels. There's tons of creek chubs in there. A uh, bunch of stuff that I don't even really know what it is. It's it's very very good. So, you know, I ended up popping on that. I gave the guy thirty bucks for it, but it was six times the size of the one that I had just walked away from an hour earlier. And uh, he had a Kennedy toolbox. I don't know if you're familiar with the toolboxes at all, but it's a vintage toolbox. And uh, they had that one, and I went back the very next day and got it too. So I probably pulled between that toolbox and, and the, uh, and the uh, fishing lures. You know, I'm looking at probably about 400 bucks, and it's, it's within, you know, less than a half a mile of my own home. So. That was a sweet pull. Oh, I without a that. doubt. Shit. Oh, yeah. You love that. And it looks like Neil is back. Can you hear us? Mm -mm. Did you no? guys hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you. Fetcher, <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm firing your Amish guy, that son of a bitch. I sold that bastard a $15 1989 Topps baseball card set. He thought he was pretty slick. Last Dude, summer, Wally, Wally would be so pissed at you right now that you just sold a 1989 Topps baseball set, $3. <laughs> yes. Totally picked through, too. It said incomplete right on the box. Oh, fuck last it. Year, I, <laughs> last year, I had a woman come through my yard sale, and um, my wife's aunt had donated romance novels, paperback, this old woman bought every one I had, oh, about 30 man. of them, romance novels. Love Ooh, it. How much did you have on them? <laughs> I, they were probably a quarter a piece, man. Dude, you know, did, you, mean, did you go out and rent a horse and ride around them books? <laughs> I tried to go your find shirt off. <laughs> There's some horny bitch out in the oh, Amish yeah. country. <laughs> she was like, Fetcher, unzip your pants because I'm buying these books. <laughs> <laughs> Shit don't work no more. I don't think they want it. But, uh, no, uh, Paul, I heard your question earlier. If somebody did come up to me and did the whole reality thing, which we had, this is no bullshit, we had a couple of emails from the people that did uh, the American Pickers. It was the Picked Off, picked off or Christy Corporation. Yeah, they they called it Picking yeah. Partners. Partners. They wanted us to send them a bio and all the stuff, and we didn't. And, uh... I want it to be real. I don't want it to be fake. Dude, that shit, I don't care what anybody says, is just 100% fake. Yep. I mean, that stuff that the pickers get and stuff, it's cool to watch them shows and see the cool stuff they get, but I'll buy every single thing that they buy for the price that they buy or what they want for it. You know what I mean? I, I remember I seen a double-sided Carhartt sign that Mike and Frank got. And they buy it for thirty bucks, and they said that they were gonna ask a hundred for it in their shop. I'll mm -hmm. buy ten of them. I'll buy yeah. ten of them. You know what gets me with that show is they'll go to somebody's place and they'll be like, "What do you want for it?" And the person will be like, twenty bucks," and they'll be like, "No, I, I, that's worth more than that." Now I, I don't know about you guys, but I don't know too many people that are somebody's you know has a sign and they want to sell it for twenty bucks. 
I'm buying it for 20. I'm not telling them, hey, I'll give you 100. Right. It's worth more than that. I mean, come on. No, I have. I, I no, I know this sounds bad because I just said that, but no, I have gave people, you know, I've told them what I think I could get out of it, and I've got more and stuff. But I've gave people a lot of fair deals. That's why a lot of people around our area come to us and stuff and ask yeah. us to come and ask them for the stuff. But I told them I got to make a buck too. I got to mm-hmm. eat just like anybody else. Me and Seth definitely, you know. I mean. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to buy it and I'm going to flip it. I'm not buying it for my collection or whatever. But uh, but I seen in your guys' last episode, you guys got a lot of postcards or what's up? Brent, you got postcards? Paul, you got postcards? Wally. Patrick, or Wally got a bunch. Wally of, that was all no, I, I, a bunch. I buy paper stuff, but definitely <laughs> Wally and fucking Paul definitely buy the most. I don't usually deal with postcards unless it's the real photo postcards because I find the other ones don't really do too good. But I think Wally scored a bunch, didn't he, Brent? With a real photo or something? Wally had butt sex with a gorilla. There you go. Oh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you just threw your buddy under the fucking dick. You didn't throw him under the butt. You threw him under the dick. I don't have anything that confirms that, but he maybe it happened. He had butt sex with the gorilla. <laughs> oh, man, that's rotten. Poor so Wally. what's up? I mean, what have you guys got in the last week or something? You guys get anything good or anything you can share that was pretty hot, a hot item, or what's up? I've got a bunch of smalls, nothing major. How about you, Paul? No, not really much of anything. This weekend sucked for me. I, I don't know where everybody's finding these good garage sales because they certainly aren't in my area. I don't know about you, Brent, but the garage sales I go to are shit around here. Oh, I agree, totally. How about you, Fetch? Well, I got this tackle box. Oh, <laughs> Fucking tackle you know, box! The yeah. thing is, the deal is, the deal is when you buy it a was tackle eighty dollars. Oh, when yeah. you buy a tackle box, what kind of tackle box? What's the brand? Can't find it. Can't find Umco, a mark on it. Umco anywhere. is Umco yeah. Creme de la Creme. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Somebody's Whoa. playing with Hall- the language. Hall- like it's Halloween <laughs> like in Michigan. You know, the thing, Paul, with the garage sales, especially this time of the year, is that it would behoove, you know, any one of us. you got to hit every one now. You know, when they're over the summer, there's 40, and you're, and you're, you're kind of sifting through looking for keywords and stuff. When it comes mm-hmm. to this time of year, you're, you're going to hit every one. You know, three, three counties, you know, and yep. hit every one. So either you can get your 30 or however many you plan to hit in a day. But, I mean, I know in Cleveland, the last two years, we've gone almost all the way, almost all the way to Christmas with the yard sales. And, I mean, it may only be six or eight a week. But up here, I mean, that's unheard of. But they're they're stretching them out. They're trying to get everything they can. Um, You're flashing. But you can hear okay, Seth? I can hear fine, but this shit's all fucked up. (laughs) Okay. That's Paul, right. Paul, we can, can we you mind you in blue? Can you bring up an? Uh, for me, I can't see comments. My shit's all fucked up too. Can, can you can you see comments of what people might be saying? Because we got oh. like, we got like, it looks like almost twenty viewers from what I see. Hold on a sec. You you gotta pause the uh, pause the audio and bring up another yeah. screen. Yeah. All right, let me check. I can For me, I can't see shit right now. Can you guys hear me fine? I can hear you. You're fucking like uh, the blue man group right now, but I can hear you fine. Fuck, that's, uh, that's, that works. You're back. I'm back. Let's see. We're at a crisis. Neil's out of beer. Yeah. This is my last beer that I just poured, actually, so that might mean it's about to end. <laughs> yeah, it says nine people are watching. Do you think it can be right real? Now? Yeah. Oh, I got it. Can, can what be real? I mean, do you do you think that they that it can be real? Because like Seth said, you know, to, to do a reality TV show, he would want it to be real. Can it be real? Holy shit! Oh, Comes man. out 100. Oh, fuck. Watch, watch Yo, this, this shit is getting serious right now. Watch out, the old fucking Yankee picker. He's fucking he's jerking <laughs> the dog to this one. <laughs> The wife, if the wife watches this, I'm grounded for a week. <laughs> Let's see. Wow. Oh, my God. 
This is not American Pickers. Eagles <laughs> <laughs> this is not the American Pickers. <laughs> Brent. Fuck you, Mike. Yes? Somebody said we should have Urban Diggers on the show, so you might want to let them know that they will be coming on the show. Somebody said we should have who's? Dylan's Collection who's said we should have Urban Diggers on the show. Urban Diggers are coming up in two weeks. Two All weeks right. from tonight, we're going to have Urban Diggers. Motherfucking October, it looks like, 8th from the board that I looked at. So that's going to be a good show. Next week, motherfucking Terminal 99 is on the show. I don't know about the motherfucking, but, you know, is he coming, oh shit. Is he coming to the after show? <laughs> if we, no, if, preacher, if, if we preacher can get Pickers. Terminal 99. <laughs> preacher Picker's going to come to the after show. Oh, man. Oh, boy. If we if we can get Terminal Nine Nine <laughs> and Preacher Picker in the after show, that shit will be fucking classic right there. Yeah. Shit. If pre if Preacher Picker <laughs> popped in right now, oh <laughs> man, we're all getting struck by lightning. He has his behind. You know this is the deal though, for real, dude. We all have a good time. We all. I mean, I don't understand why everybody. I mean, you got to have a good time, man. That's yes. all there is to it. Yes. I mean. Come on, man. You guys, you guys work hard. You guys make a living at this. What's the deal? Now, I know Brent. You work full time, don't you? Yeah. Every single buddy in this chat right now is full time. We're all yeah. full time motherfuckers. Yeah. I mean, you know, you got your co ops, and then I seen. Paul, uh, well, he wasn't he wasn't jamming with the co ops, but he's a big eBay store guy. Yeah. And Fetcher, Fetcher, he, uh, you know, we don't know what Fetcher does. He, he, he has he his porn business on the side, but that's a secret nobody can know about. No, that's Dipswell. <laughs> Dixwell! <laughs> Where the fuck are you, Dixwell? I got Dixwell. no comments, so Brent, I can't hear a a people right now. Brent, there is a comment from Dipswell. What the fuck up is Dipswell? He says, he says old fishing lures got to look for wooden with glass eyes, head and arbogast or homemade lures are like gold. No, you can't say so. The main ones you really want to look for, the main ones you really want to look for are like your head and five hook, like your, we just had a uh, crackle back that me and Seth had, and it was a head and, uh, it ran really good. I think we pulled like 300 out of that one, we paid 30 bucks for it. Head and are good, but anything with uh, wooden and glass eyes, you're not going to make the money. The guys with lures are condition sensitive. Yeah. Hard to order. I mean, Have if you've you got seen? a worm... Yeah. Go ahead. Nah, I'm just I'll saying. I'll be right I... back. Oh, jeez. He's going to take a piss. Maybe. I, I looked online at a lot of the lures, and mine are definitely in used condition, and the ones that are online, they're immaculate. They've got great little stands, you know, the little uh, plexiglass stands that they put these things on, and they look like they're right out of the box. What the bad thing is, what you should do is, I know I shouldn't tell you this, this is, but I'm going to hook you up. This is what you got to do. You know that little auction in tube that your grandma uses or whatever, or if she's alive, you know what I mean, and breathes through the little auction in tube. Mm -hmm. Yes. Shit. Snip that and put it on all the hooks. It makes it kind of look like you took care of that lure. Okay. <laughs> there there you take go. A of it. I'm serious, so I'm serious, definitely. People will be like, "Oh, this guy really took care of his shit." But I mean, you definitely, if it has a worm burn, definitely put that in a photo, man, because guys will lure guys, license plate guys, Tonka guys, tin litho toy guys. They are condition sensitive. Mm -hmm. If you don't post what you have, a rust spot. Uh, a worm burn, uh, anything. Them guys freak out, dude. We send. Who has ever we... heard the phrase "worm burn" before tonight? That's it, man. Besides Brent, I've heard cock burn. <laughs> oh boy! No more cocks. Quit that. God sale. <laughs> you know. You know what the bad thing is? We should all drink like a twelve pack. And then fired up the show. <laughs> Yo, w Neil, will you guys come on again in like a month or whatever the case is? Dude, I'm Man. going to tell you right now. At, at, we're done about 5 o'clock in the evening. If you ever need me or you want me to fire up or come on and 
shoot some shit to somebody, all you gotta do is get a hold of us, man, and I'll find you. My man, I want nice. you to shoot the shit as much as you possibly can. This was a fucking blast, man. No, no shit. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we, like we, we had our most viewers ever. We we were up in like thirty, forty at the most that we've seen. That's cool, man. Hey, anytime you guys need us or whatever, just shoot an email. Seth will tell me. We'll fire it up, man, and uh, we'll get on here. And I mean, I'll I'll answer. I'll ask questions. Dude, I got questions that need to be answered. You know, definitely. As long as it's not about Yankee Picker's cock, we're good. Oh, no, dude. God. I got to be on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I really don't like make a – that's like a special appearance, man. I got to be on that one. He's a Bet dirty sad. fucking dude. Bet say some fucking clean shit. What the fuck clean shit do you got to <laughs> end know. the show with? End like the, the fucking show here, clean, man. man. Don't I'm be sorry. dirty. It's Capri Sun. Phone's ringing. Are you drinking? 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 Yeah. <laughs> there we it just is. lost our viewers. We moved from 34 <laughs> down to 4. The funny thing is, we just popped up in viewers. They, they, were, they, must coming, be... they were saying, they said, Brent, what happened to the full <laughs> hawk? It folded down, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Go, go back and watch some of Brent's first videos if you want to see some hair, man. You want to see some hair? Man, want. My hair was ridiculous back in the day. Oh man, Brent's Good like I only, take, I only take my eBay pictures by the ocean, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> With my shirt off. Oh shit, <laughs> classic. Oh, uh, you guys are great, dude. For real. All right, we've been going for a while now. This is a post show, so we're gonna wrap it up. But honestly, I want to thank obviously Seth and Neil. I want to thank Fetcher. I want to thank my man Paul. But it wouldn't be ending. I don't. I don't have any viewer comments. So if you're leaving comments, we're gonna answer them next week when we we're talking to Terminal Nine Nine, my man Will, which I'm extremely excited for. I'm Paul, scared for Will. You're scared for Will? Why? I'm scared for Will. Will's gonna be a great episode, man. I'm excited. <laughs> I think you, you gotta handle the truth. I think you better not be drinking for that one, Brent. I think he's pretty <laughs> mellow. He's pretty mellow, but I drink whether I'm interviewing fucking, you know. Marion Springs Pickers, or when I'm either reviewing fucking the dead Diana Ross. There Is she you go. dead? I don't fucking you know. <laughs> that bitch should be dead. <laughs> Fuck that dead bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but, all right, Paul, Paul, before we wrap up, do you want to throw one last question at my man, Neil, before we wrap it up? Anything, any last words you got to say? Any last questions? Whatever it is. You put me on the spot here. I got to think of something. Uh, don't Neil, do you do make no cocks, no cocks. Well, somebody somebody did post a comment, but I don't think this really applies to uh, you guys, Neil. But they said uh, buy it now or auction. I know you guys are big on auction. You don't really do ever buy do buy it nows. Buy it now or auction, dude. I stick to uh, auction, man. Mm -hmm. We run everything that we run. Nine ninety percent of the things that we run is nine dollars and ninety nine cents. We right, real run. quick, I, I actually got to cut in. Do you guys do three days, five days? Like, do you guys go low with three days, or do you guys go high with, like, 10, 30 days? Seven. Yeah. Seven? We, we run a week, man. We won't, we, that's what we do. We run a week. I used to always run a week, but recently I've been going, like, lower because I, I've realized that I get, I get about the same amount of money, but I don't got to deal with the bullshit. Yeah, yeah. We do 80. We do anywhere from... 80 to a buck 50 a week on items, you know, 80 to 150 items a week. So, I mean, we just keep the stretch going, you know what I mean? Uh, mm -hmm. Every week, man, we throw on 80 to 150 items, man. And we do straight auction. We don't do buy it now. Once in a while, we'll have something that somebody, like, really wants, and we'll kind of figure out and know the value of it. And if they give us a good price, but if they want to throw, like, a low ball offer, 90% of the time we just say, hey, happy bidding. Go ahead. I know that I'm not <laughs> speaking alone when I say I cannot 
fucking wait until you guys come out with a new episode. It's gonna be wild, dude. We're gonna be setting shit on fire. We're gonna yes! be setting shit up. <laughs> you yes! know, I mean, we're gonna go. We're gonna go all out. We're gonna. I think we're gonna have like demolition bus fucking figure eights <laughs> and shit in the backyard. I mean, mama, we should mummify bats. Mummified bats. We're gonna be eating that shit like Ozzy. <laughs> I mean, you know we're going to go people, all out, man. Do you know how many people are going to be out looking for mum, mummified animals now? Dude, 20 bucks a pop. For <laughs> bad. People are going to be looking Listen, for motherfucking... Let me people throw this are going to be looking for back. Yankee Picker's cock. Definitely, dude. We got, we, got 20, <laughs> we got 20 bucks a bat. You got for uh, possums, anywhere from 50 to 100. You got from cats, 75 to a buck 25. <laughs> Foxes are anywhere from 100 to 300. And then... The main thing is, you guys got to find some, like, no fight bonds and shit. People, I don't know, dude. You got some morbid people. I mean, we you, know still, I mean? you guys ever sell them post, uh, what, a post-mortem? Post-mortem, yeah. Yeah, they go crazy for those things. We pulled, we pulled 350 bucks out of a set of the twins. Yep. I know that's pretty, but, man, people like that shit. You know how many freaks are going to be out pulling roadkill off the road tonight and drying it in their barn, hanging it up and drying it? Fetcher! <laughs> How can I help you? Yo, Fetcher, <laughs> Fetcher does that on a daily basis. Fetcher, I know, I know that you bought a tackle box for twenty bucks. <laughs> I did. All right. I did. <laughs> listen, listen. Honestly, you said that your lures are kind of rough. Your They're best bad. thing is fill that tackle box up and sell the whole tackle box as is. Yeah. Line it, huh? But what? No. What you want to do is you want to throw like three good lures in there. Okay. You throw th honestly. If you throw, take a picture, and you have three good lures separate that are about twenty and thirty dollar lures, them guys are gonna think that whole tackle box is loaded. But straight up, tell them, you know, this is what you get as is. These are the lures. I mean, just make sure you take a lot of pictures. But guys buy on instinct on eBay. They 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 have that auction bug in them, and they have to fucking have it unless somebody else has it. You know what I mean? They have to have that item. You know. I think it's important that we all say fuck before we leave tonight. Oh, fuck. So, fuck, Fetcher. Fuck. Paul. Fuck off. Fuck! fuck. <laughs> all right, well, I thank you guys for joining me tonight. We don't want to go too long because, you know, it's the post show. We're fucking the fuck around. We say fuck. But <laughs> How many no, viewers we do we still got? No. We How can't go long. How many viewers do we still got? We're actually right now we're at we're at twelve viewers right now. So I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's that, Shanky Picker and those all are the buddies. Are, those are For the YouTube, best. that's pretty. Paul, do we have any more questions before we sign off? Any more questions that here. look? Because for some reason, my my YouTube is like broken on my screen, so it's all up to you right now. Uh, somebody says they're gonna beat somebody with a hammer. There you go. Bigger I hammer. Don't know what that means. <laughs> and I. <laughs> Wait, 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 real quick, I wanted to just announce the fact that at some point, randomly, Bigger Hammer, you know who both of those guys are. If you don't, fucking just search Bigger Hammer on Google or fucking YouTube or whatever the fuck you want to do. They will be joining us live on the channel. I've been talking. Just just keep, keep, stay fucking tuned. But anyway, Paul, what were you saying? So, uh, somebody was saying they wanted to beat us with a hammer. I think it's because the video quality, maybe. I don't know. I want to stick my dick in your ass. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I see why you and Yankee Picker get along. <laughs> Jesus. All right, well, let's let's wrap it up. Let's calm the fuck down here. It's all Fetcher's fault. It's all Fetcher's fault. Neil, Seth, I thank you guys so much. I cannot yep. wait to have you back, honestly. It's going to be a blast. I, I mean, you know, whether it's whether it's ten months down the line, whether it's one month down the line, whether it's next fucking week, I cannot wait to have you guys back. Dude, I mean, anytime that's your, you want to oh, sir, fire me up. Nice. Oh, it's gonna happen, man. We are definitely gonna come back to you because you guys are one of my favorite guests, which in turn means I guarantee it's you know the viewers' favorite guests. So thank you guys for joining us. Thank you, Fetch, for joining guys. us. Thank you, Paul, for joining us. And don't sure. forget, tomorrow night, me and Paul will be live on this channel with uh, Trash Talking Treasures, Second Helping. Thank you guys so much. Just shout out whoever the fuck you want, and we're going to end this shit show. Hot potato.
Cox. Fuck Yankee. Fuck Yankee picker. There Fetch. you go. <laughs> Fetch. Yes. yes. Yankee Juice pitch. pouch. Yankee that. pitcher says, "Bitch, I got pine sighting. I'm smoking a blunt." <laughs> <laughs> And on that note, we're smoking some motherfucking blunts, and we're out. <laughs>